Graham, pleasure to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you. Brighton, six in the Premier League, one point off the top. You must be buzzing. Uh, yeah, buzzing. That's a good, a good word. I mean, it's a, it's a start for us. That's all it is. It's, a, it's six games, um, but you can't complain with the points we've got. Uh, performances we can still do better. We can still improve. But if you'd have said to me at the start of the season, this is this is what you've got. This is the points tally you've got after quite a disrupted pre-season with COVID and all this sort of stuff going on. Then yeah, uh, we're we're happy with that. But again, just a start with a lot a long way to go. Absolutely. And talking about buzzing. Uh, your face, Monday night, injury time equaliser, you you, you were buzzing. <laughs> you, said you wanted yeah. to probably give it some. Yeah, uh, funny enough, my eldest son sent me a meme that's going around with, with the opposite of me, which is the when Crystal Palace scored their winner at the at the Amex, I'm flicking the water away. And yeah, yeah. So that's the opposite feeling I had. Uh, that's the ups and downs and the different emotions in football. And to score at the time we did, you know, 96th minute and to see our supporters go crazy, it was just one of those moments that you think this is, this is why we're in football. Everyone knows Graham Potter, uh, the manager, but what were you like as a player? Uh, average, bang average. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, I'd like to think That's a I was bit a decent... you, weren't, you weren't bang average, come on. Uh, maybe not bang average, just average then maybe, <laughs> I'll just go with that. Um, I, I mean, I was a fantastic to be involved as a professional footballer for 13 years, had some great experiences with clubs. Um, I think I was a decent guy in the dressing room. Left back, yeah? I could play badly anywhere, to be fair, I was one of those guys. Whatever you wanted me to play, I could hit, find the channel or find the stand quite easily either, yeah. either way. <laughs> left foot, uh, left wing back. <laughs> Uh, left centre back. Um, so yeah, that was uh, that was one of the positives of my career. I played quite a few positions, so it gives me it gives me a picture of the game and different way, different different areas of the pitch. But mostly at left back. And uh, Wayne Bridge used to clean your boots. He tells me. Yeah. Did he do a good job? Oh, I can't blame him for my uh, mediocre playing career. That's for sure. Uh, he did. I think he did clean my boots, and then pretty pretty quickly I realised he's going to be loads better than me, and I'll be cleaning his boots in a in a few in a few months. You, you said you're a, quite a good lad in the changing room. Um, Sometimes, yeah, yeah, yeah. You've been harsh on yourself. You're saying you're bang average. You're quite a good lad. <laughs> it's honest. Yes. So yes, you're quite a good lad in the changing room. Being a manager now, yep. Do you find it hard to? not get involved with the, the banter, if you like, because you've been in that environment, you want to be like, you going, actually, mm. I'm the gaffer, I can't. Yeah, yeah, I, I think you've got a, there's a, a line, of course, and it doesn't mean to say you can't have a, a laugh with the players and can't have a, a smile and a joke, but it's probably a little bit different than, uh, you know, hanging up somebody's shorts in the changing room when you did as a player. <laughs> Setting them on like fire. That. Exactly, yeah, a, there's, a, there's a line there that's probably not the best across, but, uh, it's still about interacting with people. It's just at a different, a different level. When, during your playing career, did you think, I oh, quite fancy having a go at that, being a gaffer? That's, that suits me. <sighs> there, at no point in my playing career, to be honest. Never crossed your mind? No, not really. I, I thought about maybe coaching and, and it's like anything. I probably went through the process of time is getting on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come out of this game at some point. What can I do? I started my coaching qualifications. More of that, really, just to, just to do it. I didn't really have any grand plan in terms of where I'm going to be or what I want to do with it. It wasn't until maybe I started um, coaching and I started working at the university that, I, that that's when I started to think, okay, maybe I can, maybe I can do something with this. Wow. Uh, Pep Guardiola um, has described you as one of the best English managers he's seen. Um, you must be buzzing with you know praise like that, and also how far you've come as a manager because you've just gone up the ranks pretty quickly. Well, it's always nice to hear, especially for somebody somebody like him who I have a you know huge respect for. I think um, I think for my own path, I, I, I'm happy with my life, happy with what I've I've achieved. We started out as the, the sort of the bottom, if you like, and then there's a few rungs down, and that's where I started in terms of university football, ninth tier of English football, fourth tier of Swedish football. You know, you have to you have to go step by step, not get carried away, not look too far ahead, just focus on the on how you can help the players, how you can help the team, how you can help the club. And I think if you have that mentality, you've got a chance of just improving. And that's, lucky enough, I've been able to do that. You need, you need luck along the way, you need, you need people to support, you need good people around you. But um, when I look back, I'm, of course, I'm, I'm really proud. And if you carry on with the progression that you've made it within management, in three or four or five years time, I'm calling it now Graham Potter, England manager. 
it's not something that I think about. It's not something that what, whatever has happened in, in the future is what it is. If you'd have asked me in, in 10 years ago, am I going to be in the Premier League? I'd have clearly laughed at you. It wasn't something I thought about. Uh, as soon as you start to think in football too far ahead, then there's always a kick in the backside waiting for you. So just focus on the next game, focus on the day, focus on what you've got to do, do the best job you can, and then that's life. You've got a chance, haven't you? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much. Cheers. Cheers, mate.